Okay, now this is a cherry laurel. The month is October. And I don't know how long it's been like this, but the property owner didn't notice it until last week. All of this bleeding, I originally thought, cherry laurel, maybe it's a susceptible host for, for uh, peach tree borer. I don't know. I've never seen it on cherry laurel before. But there's this stress fracture. Appears to be a stress fracture to me. All of these are lining fractures. There's also an old, possibly an old callus, but no, that's not callus. There's a lot of small ants crawling around on it, but let me zoom in on it. Now here's a part where I scraped it away. That's kind of where I first noticed I was looking for boreholes. And there is a tiny bit of powder here. So did they move into the stress fractures? And how did it get a stress fracture in a relatively sheltered spot? And some of this is older. And this is the part where I scraped it away. So it's growing in the shelter of this live oak. And um, there should be, well, there's, there's ligustrums and other cherry laurels nearby. It's not following this older callus. This is from vine that's been subsequently pulled off, but it is following the, the fractures. The fractures appear to me to be superficial. Thanks for taking a look. This is Gene Bosler in Houston, Texas.